How's it going everyone? Hope everybody's staying safe out there. Today we've got a mini review of the Razer Viper Mini. Um, Razer's been on an absolute tear as of late, um, releasing some very high quality peripherals, including the Razer Viper, the Razer Viper Ultimate. They have also revamped the Basilisk series to try and compete with the Logitech G502. So we've now got the Razer Basilisk V2, the Razer Basilisk Ultimate, and the Razer Basilisk Wireless Hyperspeed. The most recent product that they've announced is this, the Razer Viper Mini. Now, I have been using the Viper Mini now for a couple of days, so I won't be going into a full review today, I'm just going to be going through my thoughts and opinions and trying to find out if it's the right mouse for you. So, for starters, let's do a cheeky unboxing, shall we? Whilst Razer have used a couple of cheaper alternatives for their packaging, um, they have not compromised on a high quality manual or a collectible Razer Chroma sticker that can be found in the box. However, it's a necessary step to keep the Razer Viper Mini at its cheap price point at only £40 or $40 if you're in the States. Upon first glance of the Viper Mini, it's an extremely small mouse and it is very comparable to other small mice such as the glorious Model O- and the final mouse Ultralight 2. The Viper Mini is 118.3mm in length, um, it also has a grip width of 53.5mm and the height comes in at 38.3mm. It's an extremely lightweight mouse, clocking in at only 61 grams without the cable. Whilst the mouse is a smaller version of the Razer Viper Ultimate, the mouse is designed for fingertip and claw grip users and it reflects this by having a slightly taller and more rounded hump. I can see why this change has been made, because even with the redesign humped, it was very difficult for me to palm the mouse. If Razer had not redesigned the hump, I feel like it would have been impossible. The hump is very similar to the hump that can be found on the back of the Zowie S2. However, because the S2 is slightly larger in all dimensions, it fits the palm a lot better. Despite the low price point, the Razer Viper Mini still manages to do very well on build quality and high quality materials. One noticeable difference is that you can still see the Razer logo if the RGB is turned off. We get the same matte coating that you can find on the Viper Ultimate. We also get the same high quality scroll wheel and optical buttons. You won't find the rubberized textured side panels that you can find on the Viper Ultimate as they have likely been taken off to cut cost. It also looks like we've lost the side buttons on the right hand side, which is going to be a real pain if you're a lefty. Speaking of which, the side buttons on the Viper Mini stick out a little bit more than the Razer Vipers, so if you're finding those a little too discreet and difficult to press, these should be a little bit easier to click in now. The mouse is also equipped with Razer's Hyperflex cable, which is their take on a paracord. It felt a little bit firm upon first use, however it's still a great alternative to a standard rubber cable. The optical switches on the Razer Viper Mini are very good and feel very clicky in the hand, they are designed to be a lot more responsive and a lot more durable compared to Huano switches and Omarons. The scroll wheel on this mouse is also very good, there's no left and right movements, the individual scrolls are very pronounced and the middle mouse clicks have no complaints for me either. Unfortunately I don't have any gameplay clips to show you this time around and I really did struggle to use the mouse in game because of its small proportions. My hands felt very cramped when I tried to use the mouse and um, I think one of the reasons for this is because I'm not used to using a fingertip grip, um, I prefer more of a relaxed palm grip, so um, that was a real challenge for me with this mouse. Still, if you are used to smaller mice such as the Ultralight 2, or if your hand is small enough, then you may be able to palm this mouse. The Viper Mini also has two main sections for RGB, one of which being the Razer logo and the underside of the mouse itself. We also get 100% pure PTFE feet, which can be found on the underside of the mouse. I'm glad that they've kept these as a long strip and not in four different sections, and they glide very well on the pad. The Viper Mini also features a top optical sensor, and whilst it can't go up to 20,000 DPI such as the one features on the Viper Ultimate, it's still a great sensor and performs well in-game. Overall, I think the Viper Mini is a fantastic mouse, but only if your hand can fit it. The only issue I see with this mouse is that because it is so small, um, you won't be able to use it if you have larger hands, and you won't be able to palm the mouse either. That aside, I do like the fact that it's very light, it's only 61 grams. It does make the ultra light category very accessible and very affordable now. 
I also like the fact that Razer hasn't compromised on the product itself considering the price point. We still get high grade Omeron switches, we still get a top optical sensor, the clicks on the side and the scroll wheel are all great and the overall build quality is fantastic. One thing I did find is that the side grips are a little bit slippery so I would have liked to have seen a rubber coating. And again going back to that DPI switch quickly I would have liked to have seen that on the bottom but other than that it's a fantastic mouse if your hand can fit it. For me personally as I mentioned it is a little bit too small so unfortunately there won't be that much gameplay for the mouse today. Uh, nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please comment on any more mouse that you'd like to see me review. Um, I'd also like some feedback as well on the review style. Um, I had to throw this together quite quickly, unfortunately. The next video I'm going to be bringing out is a glorious Model O review. Um, I'm just putting the finishing touches on that, so that should be out very shortly. But no, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next. And take care now.